The future of world cycling has arrived. And it is Pogacar, the superstar. This is for the Tour de France. Yellow jersey. Yellow jersey, polka dot jersey, white jersey. Come on, mate, it's all for you. It was Pogacar that raced to glory to become the first man to take in Lombardia and Tour de France in the same year since 1979. We raced down into the, the closing stages. Well, Alaphilippe wanted to stay close to the front. He helped to force an early split, uh, but uh, Simon Clark hit the front. It was Tadej Pogacar, the pre-event favourite, that decided to springboard to potential glory. More than 50 kilometres of the day remaining for Tadej Pogacar, chased initially by Carlos Rodriguez of the Team Ineos Grenadiers squad, the chasing peloton behind, whittled down in size managed to close down the young rider from Team Ineos Grenadiers. They would do nothing about Tade Pogacar. Kaspar Asgrain and Alejandro Valverde then taking up the chase behind. But he had plenty in hand and time to savour the moment as Tade Pogacar, 23 years of age, took his first victory in Strade Bianchi. Welcomed home into Piazza del Campo by a large and appreciative crowd. Alejandro Valverde getting up for second at uh, the age of 41. Kaspar Askren third across the line, but uh, no one able to prevent Tade Pogacar from taking a famous victory. Climb, we were down to the top four general classification favourites. Adam Yates in red, having to be ever vigilant to the series of attacks that came from Tade Pogacar. And when Adam Yates threw in one or two of his own, it uh, proved extremely difficult for the others to close the gap. Lutsenko suffering, but it was Pogacar that managed to make it across to the Englishman quicker than the rest. Lutsenko would join back in, so too David Gaudu. The top four went into the final sprint. Lutsenko led into the final bend, but Pogacar had what it took to throw the bike at the line. Sensational finish from the young Slovenian, and he takes a first victory of the week for the UAE Team Emirates squad. Refusing to capitulate, the 21-year-old gets the glory on the day, and Adam Yates right there in third place. But then came the big move of the day, a devastating attack from Tadej Pogacar, which seemed to catch his rivals by surprise. The Slovenian quickly sailed past the two leaders, opening up a minute on the red jersey group, cresting the summit in the lead. Well, the 20-year-old was hunting a place on the podium, and with 17k to go, he had a minute and 45 seconds on the chasers. Movistar leading the charge because Roglic had nothing to fear from his compatriot and his friend Pogacar. The UAE team Emirates man fighting all the way up the Plataforma de Gredos despite a few attacks behind him. Alejandro Valverde, the world champion, determined to save his second place. But Pogacar held on to take the win. The future of world cycling has arrived. When he won in Andorra, it was Pogacar the star. He now wins at Plataforma de Gredos and it is Pogacar the superstar. As the group of favourites behind whittle down and within 20 seconds of Quinn Simmons across the top of the climb. Into the second and final ascent of Monte Carpegna, Tadi Pogacar rolling off the front of an attack by Mikel Landa and racing clear of the rest. By the summit of uh, Monte Carpegna with 12 kilometres remaining. Pogacar well clear, and he had plenty of time to compose his victory celebration, taking his second stage victory of the week, his third in his Treno Adriatico career, and rubber stamping his status at the head of general classification. Teish Benoit trying to set up his team leader, Roman Bardet. He would make the selection eventually on the penultimate climb of the day, but it was Tade Pogacar among the youngest riders in the bike race, who took his leave of the rest, opening up an advantage of over half a minute across the penultimate climb of the day, the Ganda. He was joined by Fausto Masnada, who closed that half-minute gap. 
And as they charged up the final grippy little climb within three kilometers of the finish, Masnada put under pressure by Tade Pogacar. It came up to a two-up sprint, and the local man not quite able to get on terms with Tade Pogacar. It was Pogacar that raced to glory to become the first man to take Il Lombardia and Tour de France in the same year since 1979. Great second place for the local man, the man from Bergamo, Fausto Masnada of the De Koinig Quick Step squad, and Adam Yates getting up for third for the De Koinig Quick Step team. And Kigard just rocks through, still in a big gear, looking around, seeing how counter pass is. Another attack, Pogaccia goes again. Vengegaard tries to get on the wheel. Pogaccia revs it up. How many jumps has he done on this mountain? Richard Carapaz now attacks. The Ineos Grenadier rider, who might well have been bluffing at the back, gives it full throttle. Vengegaard is trying to get back, but I think he's suffering here. Carapaz is going. Vengegaard is almost there. He is almost back on the wheel. Vengegaard has completely recovered. Now he fancies the stage win. What a ride by Vengegaard there. Richard Carapaz is bogging down the front. He's starting to crack. Wait for it. Richard Carapaz, can he continue? Tadej Pogacar is about to go. 100 meters to go. Here goes the tornado from Slovenia. Tadej Pogacar jumps away. He wanted the stage win. We knew that all the way up. Vengegaard chases him. Now Vengegaard going for second in the tour. Pogacar at the top of the Col de Porte. The yellow jersey wins the stage. Tadej Pogacar, UAE Team Emirates. Van Aert recovering to beat Cavagna, while Roglic was 13 seconds down on Pogacar at the first checkpoint. Tom Dumoulin into the hot seat. Dumoulin, 10.55 seconds quicker. Important question, are you going to change bikes? Uh, that we'll see tomorrow. Because you don't know or because it's a secret? Because it's a secret. Because if I tell, everyone knows. <laughs> Very effective bike change. He lost very little time there. 24 seconds is what Primoz Roglic has in his hand right now. Here we go. The mechanic is ready. Roglic is ready. They get back on the bike. It's He's turned up. red. It's turned red for the first time. Tade Bogaccia is up on Primoz Roglic. This is incredible. Oh. The last time this happened was in 1989 between Laurent Fignon and Greg LeMond. Pogaccia is producing one of the time trials of all time. This is a ride that is absolutely breathtaking. This rider is about to win the Tour de France. Pogaccia sprints his way over the top of this climb. He's given this the absolute fury of a man who wanted the yellow jersey. Pogaccia reaches the finish line now, and now he can wait and see if he wins the Tour de France. France is going to be won by Tadi Pogaccia on the climb of La Planche de Belfi. You're watching a moment in history. The dream of the Tour de France that he has managed all the way through to the final day in the as far as racing is concerned. 